Hi, how are you? Um, today we're going to talk about how to apostille some documents in the state of Arizona. I have some very good examples that hopefully will help you um, with your apostilles. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to show you first um, the old version of an Ar Arizona apostille. This is how they used to look. And um, since last year, they updated to this. So um, if you're used to see something like this, um, you know, now they look like this, they have the exact same value. So having said that, um, I'm going to explain to you um, the process to obtain an apostille on a birth certificate. So here you have a birth certificate that needs to be apostille uh, to be used uh, overseas. And um, I'm going to show you the, the whole process. So you have um, the birth certificate that we're talking about is this. Let me just remove this, get out of the way. Um, so you have a birth certificate that has been signed, and this is the important thing, it has been signed by the assistant state registrar. This is the key that this document, um, you need to make sure that your document is it's signed by a, a valid um, uh, officer of the government in order to be acceptable at the Secretary of State. So obviously this, this document was acceptable. Um, as you can see, uh, the Secretary of State, um, Michelle Reagan, uh, basically here, certifying the signature of the Assistant State Registrar right here. It's the same here, thing as here. Um, and the name is uh, Khalil Husseini. I am sure I am not pronouncing it right. I apologize for that. But you know, you have to make sure that the signatures are, are good. Um, there are some signatures that unfortunately are no longer acceptable. For example, if your birth certificate or death certificate uh, has a signature by, for example, Richard Porter, then it's not acceptable. You will have to basically get a new copy. Um, I have here some, some samples of some signatures. Um, um, of officers that uh, 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 sign uh, vital records. So, you know, people like, you know, Patricia Adams and um, Crystal. Uh, and uh, same thing with, uh, for example, a, a death certificate. You know, um, I basically deleted all these, but you know, um, death certificates is, is the same thing. You. Um, they're pretty much signed by by the same uh, by the same authorities as uh, birth certificates. Um, here's a, another sample. You know, if it just you know, the, this is how the the death certificate looks like, very similar to the birth. Um, at any rate, um, this is a sample of an apostille signed by uh, for a vital record. Now, if you have a document that has been notarized in the state of Arizona. That's why I wanted to use this, this example. Um, see, this document is uh, the Secretary of State, Michelle Reagan, again, it's certifying the signature of Jessica Smith. Jessica Smith is not a government officer. Jessica Smith, it's a notary public. And, um, you know, if a document is it's notarized, it can be apostille. Um, documents like powers of attorney, documents like uh, school diplomas, transcripts, and, and, and all that. So what I recommend to you is this. When you notarize your document, ask the notary if it's possible to use a jurat of an affidavit. Um, this is, you know, it's, a, it's just a separate piece of paper that will basically have all the necessary information so the Secretary of State can um, can, can uh, accept the, the document. So obviously, you know, we have edited out all this info, but you know, basically I wanted to show you, you know, this, this, this notarization by Jessica uh, M. Smith, um, it's the, it's the, this is the, the, the notarization that we use to obtain this apostille. Now, if the notary does not have one of these jurat statements, they can, you know, sometimes they also write something directly on the document. You know, this is, for example, for a power of attorney. Um, and, you know, this, this is also acceptable. And this is another, another notarization that we apostille in, um, in, in, in Arizona. Um, that's basically, it. you know, the, again, the, it's very important to check the, uh, the signatures. This is very, very important that the document uh, is uh, the, the signature acceptable. You can always check our website. We try to keep 
keep um, updates if there's any any changes um, with the signatures. But um, other than that, you know, uh, hope to be able to help you with your Arizona apostille. If you have any questions, like always, um, you know, feel free to give us a call. Uh, feel free to email us and uh, we'll do our very best to respond to you very quickly. All right. Thank you and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.